Hi there. In this video, I'm, I'm going to clarify um, all about sort of set target and clipping and combi combining and what happens to the data underneath that, all that sort of thing. Uh, set target is a it's a powerful button, and uh, and this video very very in a very straightforward manner. I hope just just clarifies how that all works, how that all hangs together. So as, as you can see, I've I've created these two polygons, um, and uh, obviously um, circular. Uh, and just giving them an ID, ID one and two. If you look at the browser for these, you can see I've got a, a made up population figure for each one. So there's a hundred and a hundred um, in each one. So um, that just keeps it simple because we, you know, we can look at hundred as a percentage sort of thing, or, um, or actually as the value of a hundred. You'll see what I mean as we um, cut up the data, as we chop it up. So you can see the intersect. Um, so let, let's just get down to it. One of the um, first things that uh, we could do here uh, actually is just to uh, combine them uh, let's join join them together so we can when it's editable you see I've got the editable on there on my population polygons so I'll select these two and with combine up here I'll combine selected objects note I could combine using a column so where they share the same attribute they combine but in this case it's just what's selected on the screen so I hit that now it says well obviously they have two different IDs so you'll have to set some kind of ID um, here I'll just carry on with the one but I could set it to three for example because um, we're going to create a new object but what about the population what's going to happen to that well I could average it out by um, some kind of weight weighting um, but actually I just want to sum them together or I could say ignore the data in this case I'm going to sum them so I press OK and you see how now I get this one combined object so all the sort of features all the aligned the geometry that lay within all of this all got combined and um, all, 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 um, it, it sort of takes the the outer extent the extent of the object and creates a single new one like um, uh, just like that if I go to browser you can see now I've just ended up with this ID one because I just left it as one but population 200 because I combined the data so if we just go back to table and press the revert button we can discard what happened there so that's a straightforward combine so what about um, if you want to do an operation on one particular object let's say ID one notice still editable so I've got these sort of edit handles at the um, four corners here um, at the um, of, of the extent of the object um, that's why the corners it's a sort of bounding box um, so I'll select that now if you look under spatial you'll see this option here set target so I'll click on that and that shades it this color you can change the color actually in, in your options um, but this this is now a target if I click anywhere else or whatever that still remains this sort of blue which is my default color for targeting uh, default color so that is the target you can see a targets active because I've got the clear target button if I press clear it goes back to normal so I click set target so what I want to do is uh, effectively split this based on another feature and it's obviously intersecting so that's how I know it can split so if I click on that you can see we get a split uh, option up here um, we're not going to sort of use a, a line or anything to split we could but in this case I just want to split the target so wh whenever you have a, a, a target target like this identified there's this idea of whatever then is selected is the feature that basically becomes your sort of cookie cutter the, the, the bit that chops out the other uh, the, the piece of the target so I click on split target and let's see what happens and again, we'll just um, we, we can just keep to a specific value, keep it all, or make it area proportion because the target is going to change area, it's going to change shape. So I'm going to make it area proportion. Press OK. And now, what you'll see is is this chunk where it's intersecting has effectively um, been removed, effectively been erased because it's been split at that intersecting point. I'll show you what I mean. If I move this away, you see how I've got this sort of Pac-Man type shape, see? It's actually been chopped off. If I go to the browser, it's now, what I've, what I've now got is um, this 
um, feature, the large feature, because it's been split, it's been split, that's what's happened here. Um, so that's ID 1, uh, and that's 1 and 88. And in fact, when I did the split, I could have changed the value to 3 or something because the object's been split into 2. And there is the intersection there, you see. So let's just repeat that, and, and, I'll, and, and so you can see now there's 3 polygons. I'll just go to revert and discard the changes so that goes back to normal. Let's go back to this and I'll just redo that slightly changing the values and you can see what I mean. So set target, select, split. I'm making uh, a new object, let's call it three and it's all by error proportion. Press OK and you see look, ID three and two and what happens is when I've because I've created this new object it is a new object so 2 2 ID 2 has basically gone it's been replaced by the two split um, features and they're called whatever I call them I manually set it to 3 because uh, I wanted to show that I created something new um, but you could just leave it, leave it. anyway so if, when, you, when you click on that one it should show in the browser see so it's 12 there's just population 12 or, or 12 percent however you want to View that. So that is briefly split. You see what's happened to that one. There's, there's nothing. ID two remains the same. There's no 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 change. So let's just um, uh, go back to revert. Okay. Now make that the um, target again. Let's just uh, pin that toolbar down again. I lost it there. Um, hit target. So one is a target again, but now this time I'm going to select this and choose erase. Now there's two options for erase. There's erase. So this is going to literally remove, rather than split anything, this is going to delete stuff. This is going to delete pieces of geometry. So I can either erase the target and it says remove a portion of the map object using whatever is currently selecting, or I can erase outside. Let's do erase target first. So you can see the difference. So again, we're going to stick with proportion. What happens with a race target? Well, instead of that split happening and you're left with an intersection, it just erases. Whatever is, was overlapping on the selected feature, which is this ID2, which is that, is being um, removed from my target feature. Go to there, and yes, it shows 88 left in population, or 88% of the data is, is remaining. So. So that, that's, that's what's happening with um, array. So it's effectively removing the intersecting bit, where a split keeps the intersecting bit and makes the intersecting bit into a new feature, in, a new object, a new record in your table um, with a very, very sort of obvious intersecting shape geometry, as we saw. So that's that. Let me just revert. And this time we'll set that as a target spatial set target and this time we'll erase outside you can probably guess what this does so again uh, proportion area proportion press ok and you're left whatever was without outside of this selected object was re erased was removed therefore leaving only the intersection piece which i've just dragged outside so you can see so um, it, that is is all that's left if we go back to here What's left is again the 12 or the 12% 12 um, of the intersection um, piece. So that is erase and erase outside. Um, the um, what I'll do just finally. So that that's really um, all I wanted to sort of show you of that of those two. I did want to show you just one last thing, which is um, something you can do with regions. So I'm going to I'm going to select these two. I'm going to combine them so I make that I don't care about the data I make this funny sort of binocular type shape and then and then what I'm going to do is select this option clip region so I click on clip region and see what happens so you end up with this sort of view it kind of masks the whole map so the only map you're looking at who you can see everything underneath um, is purely um, within those um, uh, actual um, that, that actual combined geometry 
and you can see it doesn't actually change you know you're not zooming in and out of the map effectively uh, this is kind of locked at that at that scale anyway I just thought I'd show you that as a, as a little uh, little thing you can al also do anyway, so I hope that um, quick little view of uh, set target and uh, um, splitting etc is let's just discard all those changes and let me just turn off clip region clip region off go back um, but hopefully that just makes things a little clearer uh, about set target and um, uh, combining uh, note that um, for set target is actually uh, grayed out there you can see because you need something selected and we could have done everything with the other um, option of course um, with any geometry and because it's a selection your select target could be a SQL select because it's just a selection so you can you can choose your data however you wish I've just been clicking on the on the map screen um, but also note when you're doing a set target you must have that target as an editable layer don't forget that okay thanks very much I hope that um, was useful